Since the beginning of the year, the Grade 7 girls have been learning about the language of coding and specifically how it's used in websites. Through collaboration with the teachers of Grade 7, we created a project where they could put that understanding into practice and make their very own e-trading day website where they can advertise their product and get orders live. Being one of the first schools to be doing this, because obviously we've been doing trading day, for such a long time and now we're using a website which hasn't been done before so it's the cool as aspect to it. It's kind of in introducing you to a new style of learning. It was really exciting. It's so exciting to see the interest level peak. Now we're coding. The coding has got so much relevance to what they're doing. So I think in terms of girls being resourceful and, and problem solvers and in business that's the thing. So navigating and anticipating what might happen is helpful for the girls because they're then living out this real scenario. Not many women are seen as coders. They think that, oh, that's a man's job. But I feel like if we see women like that, other women are going to be inspired to do this as well. And it's totally going to change like the industry. It's definitely inspiring young girls and future leaders of the world. Code for Kids is a program that we have that covers coding, robotics and ICT. Weinberg girls have been using our product and our um, dashboard for about uh, three years now and they approached us asking if we could assist with their trading day project because it's great to still have posters and brochures and all the old style learning, but this is the 21st century and we need to look towards creating websites and keeping up with global trends. I was a bit nervous because I thought it was going to be really hard, but it's actually really simple. The most interesting part of this project was being able to code together and learn more about what coding is in a fun way. Code for Kids makes it so easy and it's just like, it basically feels like you're just doing schoolwork, but it's fun. I think this is the embodiment of 21st century learning. We are taking the creativity, critical thinking, collaboration and communication needed through EMS and putting it into practice through an innovative way. When you get the feedback from the girls, wow, we, we are on the right track, we're going in the right direction. This is, this is teaching, this is learning, and this is innovation.